Hello everyone, welcome to the Roger Blake Photography and Printing Channel. Great to have you along today. We're going to be doing a special project uh, designed by Braden at Illimax Illustration. They are a beautiful set of invitations for a client. Uh, we have two separate invitations. They are five by seven, two-sided, full bleed on both sides. This brings about some special challenges with uh, uh, how we're going to run them. And because there are many invitations, not just one or two, we also need to determine which printer to put them on for the most efficient for our shop. So come along for the ride. So in my little studio here, I have two printers. I have the Canon Image Prograph 300, a beautiful little desktop type printer. Um, much higher quality, of course, than a desktop printer, but it is a small one. It's a 13 by 19 uh, size. And we could print the five by seven cards or invites on that um, edge to edge, uh, but it's really slow. And one of the considerations that we have when we're doing production work is what are the overall costs? What I think about is what is the cost of the ink involved and on that printer, the cost per milliliter of all the ink is relatively high compared to our other printer, which is our large format Canon 2100, which is um, a roll-fed printer, wide format. The ink per milliliter is much less costly and that's one of the largest expenses on the job besides the paper. The other part of the equation is the labor. Now we can stack up some five by seven cards in the 300 and let it go, but it's super slow. If we do it in the 2100, we need to do it on a sheet fed because we can't do we can't get the coated two side on, on a roll format, nor would we be able to really turn it over and run the second side. So we're going to have uh, sheet fed on the big printer, and that's a bit of a challenge when you go to turn it over and so on. But we've come up with some alternatives on how uh, to do that. And right here is that alternative. Um, I've built an in what I call an in-feed table for this type of production work. I'm going to do another video on just that part of it and, and how that will help any person who has one of these types of printers and, and what it looks like and why it's a good idea to have it and some of the cautions too for that. But today, for today's purpose, we're just talking about laying out and running this job in a production sense. All right, one of the things you have to think about when you're gonna do a print job, especially one that is two-sided and has bleeds or borders, is how you're laying it out for the print. A really smart thing to do is to create yourself what we call a mock-up page. That's very simple. All you're gonna do is say, I've got side one, and side two. What I'm gonna do is this gonna represent my, my page that I'm running through the printer. And I know that I'm going to run it four up. So I'm gonna have four boxes. One, two, three, and count with me, number four. All right, and guess what? Same on this side, so we've got one. Now the other important part is knowing which way that you're going to run this through the printer. In our case, we are going to call this as the lead edge or the part that's going into the printer. So we're gonna mark that on both sides. And once we know that, we know that as it's gonna go through the printer, essentially like this, into the printer, and it's gonna feed and come out. Now, which way are we going to turn that page? We're going to turn it in the printer like this. So side to side, not end to end. On side one, a front and a front. And we're gonna have a back and a back. This is also going to be the front 
and the front. And we can do this because the paper we're putting it on is a coated two sides, but it's the same, it's the same texture on both sides, it's a matte paper. So if it was a gloss and a matte, you couldn't do it this way. But what we're going to do is lay it out once in the computer and then simply turn it. Knowing that we have front and front and we're turning it that way, well, which way do the backs need to be? You can see through the page kind of here, like, well, here's the top of that invitation. So we know that the back needs to be oriented this way. So it's going to look like that. And if we do it right, then we only have to set it up one time and we turn it over like this and run it right back through. And now you see front, back, and they'll be right side up, just the way they're supposed to be. This is a critical piece in laying out your project. If you don't do this, you're prone to make mistakes and have them be the wrong way up, or if you were to just kind of not think about it, you could have a front, and when, you, when the person turns it over, here's your back, well, that just, you know, is not gonna be good. We want to end up with the front and the back, and so we do these mock-ups to make it easier on ourselves and to know that we're printing in the right format. Now that we have the mock-up done and we know how we're going to lay it out to run on the printer, um, we'll open the print software, bring in the files that we need to print and arrange them the same way that we've done on the mock-up. So we have one front and one back here. And what I've done is I've, I've laid out the sheet. It's going to be an 11 by 17 uh, and, and four images up. So it'll be two fronts and two backs. These have been lined up um, so that we have the same margins all the way around with the exception of this edge, which doesn't matter. This margin and this margin are the ones that matter so that when it turns, it will be uh, the way we expect it to be. Now the paper that we've chosen to print this on is a beautiful Red River paper, polar matte 60 pound, coated two sides. This is just a beautiful paper. It is a really smooth surface. It holds the colors perfectly. Uh, the rendition of the colors is great. This is been just such a wonderful paper for all kinds of reproductions, um, high-end artwork, photographs, all kinds of things. It's not the choice for everything, but Red River Paper has uh, a paper for every situation, and this one will work out perfectly for this job. The printer alerts me that it needs to have paper. It's expecting a Red River Polar Mat 11 by 17. I'm gonna load the paper. One of the things about printing on this printer for a sheet fed is it can be really tedious because you have to put it in here, line it up with the marks that are inside, the mark on the side, go through all of this stuff and hope that you get it right and hope that you can uh, get it lined up the second time. But that's why I built this in-feed table and we'll have details about that in another video. That's really cool stuff. The main thing is that I have to be lined up with the mark that's in the printer so that when we turn it over, it's going to print the way it should. The first time that we line this up is the most critical. I like the way that that's done, so we'll lock it in place. Close the cover. And let it take it in. Okay, so side one is finished, and now we're ready for side two. We'll just go ahead and retrieve the sheet. Looks like everything is printed the way we expected it to. We'll turn it over. Put it in exactly the same spot. And here we go for side two. And so just like that, uh, we've run one side through turned the page over, 
Now we're running the second side and it will come out just perfectly matched up on front and back the way we expect it to. And we'll be ready then to trim them out, proof everything and on with the job. Okay, final check. We get to check this that it's uh, where we expected it to be and it is. So we'll take this out of the printer Now we'll be ready to print the rest of the job. And here's the finished product. Looks really beautiful. Uh, one of the sheets from the printer and a pair that are trimmed out. I'm just really happy with how this came out and hope that these tips on how to set up your mock-ups and how to decide how, what, which printer you're gonna put them on is gonna be helpful. Thanks for coming along with me today in this project. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The colors, the paper, the layout, everything worked together. The client's gonna be very happy. Give me a subscribe and a thumbs up and hopefully you'll join me on the next adventure. Thank you.